Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. We are here to discuss about semiconductor device. In our previous discussions, we talked about use of a PN junction diode as a rectifier and we talked about half wave and full wave rectifier. Now today we are going to discuss about Zener diodes as voltage regulators. In this particular topic, you will be able to understand the working of a Zener diode. You will be able to explain Zener diode as a voltage regulator and you will be able to list the applications of the Zener diode. A Zener diode is typically a normal diode. The only thing is that it is always used in reverse bias. Previously, we have discussed about rectifiers. The limitation of the rectifiers is that the output is not very stable. Now, this Zener diode provides us the voltage which is very, very stable. You can draw large amount of current from a Zener diode without any voltage fluctuations. So as compared to rectifiers, a Zener diode is a much better voltage regulator. We are able to get regulated power supply from a Zener diode. Let's understand the working of a Zener diode via the circuit diagram. Let's have a look at the circuit diagram. In this circuit diagram, this Zener diode is connected in the reverse bias via the unregulated DC which we obtain from the filter. In the previous case, we have seen that a full wave rectifier even though converts the AC signal into the DC signal, yet there are ripples. We pass it through the filter, but yet the circuit shows that the output is not very smooth. Now we input that current through the Zener diode which is in the reverse bias. Now in the reverse bias, the diode is set in such a way that we are working in the breakdown region. To remind you, we have seen that in the diode for the forward bias, we have seen that there is a sharp increase in the current with the voltage. But in the reverse bias, the current which flows through the diode is negligibly small till the breakdown voltage is attained. Beyond the breakdown voltage, the voltage remains constant while a large amount of current can be drawn through the diode. So over here, the diode is operating in the breakdown region. That means we have supplied voltage to such an extent that the diode is already in its breakdown region. Over here, looking at the circuit, what we do is we supply the unregulated DC into the input circuit and in the circuit, what we notice is that the Zener diode leads to conduction of that large amount of current without any voltage fluctuations. Because even if there are some ripples in the current, that means the amount of current is varying to a slight value, these fluctuations are completely ignored by the Zener diode and across the load resistance, you are always going to get the output voltage which is going to be fixed. Thus, a simple Zener diode acts like an excellent voltage regulator. Let's have a look at the power of the Zener diode. Over here, the Zener diode is working as a stabilizer. This Zener diode has a voltage breakdown which is Vz. This breakdown voltage is indicated the value at which the Zener diode is in its breakdown region. Over here, now the output is stabilized to V0. This output voltage is independent of the input which is an unregulated current. A suitable resistance RS is used to dissipate any extra voltage which is seen 
in the circuit. Thus, this Zener diode will only operate when the input voltage exceeds Vz. We have already seen that in the region where the breakdown is not attained, the Zener diode acts like an ordinary diode. The power dissipation of the Zener diode is given as the breakdown voltage multiplied by the current. Now an important question to ponder upon is, what happens if the Zener diode is connected in the forward bias? Well, the application of the Zener diode as a voltage regulator is only in a specified region. That is, whenever we connect the Zener diode in the reverse bias and we are supplying the voltage beyond Vz. If we don't supply the voltage beyond Vz and we are not connecting the Zener diode in the reverse bias, it will not function as a regulated power supply or else it will not work as a stabilizer. So the moment we convert a Zener diode in forward bias, the Zener diode behaves like a simple diode and therefore it will show the same characteristic curve as shown by ordinary diodes. So the only thing that is particular about Zener diode is that it has a very high degree of doping. The higher degree of doping allows us to have a higher Vz value and the Zener diode when connected in reverse bias for values more than Vz is capable of acting like a regulated power supply. This finds immense applications of Zener diode as a voltage stabilizer. In this particular topic, we have learnt about the working of the Zener diode as a voltage stabilizer or a voltage regulator. So the input from the half wave rectifier is filtered via the LC circuit and that filtered output which has got some ripples is further rectified via the Zener diode and ultimately we get a stable output and thus a Zener diode works like a voltage regulator. Thank you learners.